Sri Lanka nationals are venting their frustration over the prevailing economic situation in the island nation as people hustle to access their daily needs. Now, the shortage of fuel and other essential goods has led to the closure of learning and business centers, leaving others worried about the situation. Now, following a massive protest calling for the president's resignation, the country's future is apparently bleak. Here, here's more details of that in this report. Serpentine queues for fuel in capital city Colombo run through lanes and by lanes. Lankans wait for days outside petrol sheds, which are now being managed by the armed forces. People are running out of patience as they struggle to lead their daily lives. It's not a very pleasant thing to be in uh, queues for so, such long hours. And uh, we find that uh, the whole uh, country uh, is uh, heading to disaster. Others like Nilupal Batuvita Arachi, who runs a hardware business, has opted out of this waiting game. He repaired his cycle a month back and is happy to pedal off to work. Can't stay on the fuel queue because it takes about two, three days to get the fuel. And then uh, we don't have that much time to waste because we have to work. And that uh, even the buses are very late and we have to wait for a long time to get a bus. Uh, I hope the situation will improve, uh, but right now I'm cycling. Shortages of essentials have led to closure of schools, businesses and offices in the country. My major concern is like uh, there's no future for them like here. But then at the same time we can't afford to you know, send them away and uh, they have to somehow or other finish their studies here and do their undergraduate studies here but then everything is getting delayed. At this juncture, the other apprehension island nation is to devise an economic recovery plan urgently. How quickly we can legislate the tax changes, how quickly we can bring the bring an interim budget because that was that was supposed to be the Prime Minister failed to do so. And if those things happen, the process can be extradited. The Lincolns have been protected by the President and the Prime Minister since they President has said that he will step down on Wednesday.